what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh, I know I haven't gotten to put a video out for a little bit um, but my life has gotten a little bit more busy recently I had school start up again so that's kind of been what's going on with me but today I'm excited to bring you guys another video and I'm gonna show you guys the Fullerton loop today um, so if you guys haven't heard of it already it's a pretty nice like beginner like style loop in Fullerton on some of the trails that they've got out there um, so it's pretty sweet it's not a very challenging ride by any means but it's got some cool uh, features kind of hidden off to the side if you look for them um, so it's really kind of got a little bit for everybody everybody so um, yeah it's a really good place to go if you're just starting out mountain biking too um, and you kind of need to just get a feel for being on a bike and that type of stuff but like I said before too it can also be really fun for people who are a little bit more advanced and more experienced too um so yeah either way i hope you guys enjoy this episode i'm stoked to have you guys back and yeah let's get to riding So to start off this ride, what you guys are going to do is you're going to park at the courthouse building um, and I'll leave a link to this uh, parking lot and then you're going to come over here and you're going to just get up on this trail right here. I think it's called, oh my gosh, I don't remember what it's called. So I'm just going to put the name right here. So that's going to be the name of this trail that you're going to start on and then you're just going to go right coming out of the parking lot and go, just keep going up on it. So I'll hop up there. All right, so now that you're here, you're just gonna go straight on it. Um, and there's gonna be a street crossing right up here. So just go straight across and keep on this trail. All right, so here's that first street crossing I was talking about. So just go straight across here. All right, and then you can either go straight right here or you can come down here. Ooh. That's kind of fun. Um, and honestly, it's it's like the exact same thing. This trail is just a little side one, um, but it just goes right along the side of this trail too. So really, it doesn't matter. I just find this one a little bit more a little bit more interesting. All right. So regardless of what trail you're on, like I said earlier, um, at this point you're still going to cross the street get over to the next side and keep going the same way for a little while Alright, so yeah, like I said, there's some fun alternate lines on the sides. Just keep your eye out for them. And then you're going to make a left down here. This is called Hiltzer Trail. And you're just going to drop in right here. So yeah, this is a little, this is Hiltzer Trail. It's really, really green today. Probably just because of all the rain, but pretty much the same concept as last one just stick on this for a while and you're gonna go straight to the next road crossing all right so we're on Hillshire Trail and now we're gonna cross here to get into Hillshire Park so just go straight across and then take this little this little lane off to the left it's way more fun in my opinion. Um, it's just as pedally as the other side, but like got some fun little features there. Some tiny little jumps all scattered throughout, but they're all pretty fun. So yeah, just kind of just chill out on this trail for a little bit. Here's 
another little line off to the right. I noticed that all these little jumps have like flat landings. I don't know. It's whatever you want, I guess. All right, now we're up here at the next spot, the next road crossing. So this is called Euclid Street. Um, so pretty much just come here, hit the button, and you're gonna go straight across and then make a left over there. And then that'll hook you up to the next section of trail. All right, so I just did that left. You're gonna go down this way, but I like to come up here, hit this little drop in right here. Since it's super muddy today, I'm gonna go left across the bridge. Up right here. And then you're gonna go into this climb. It sucks. Oh. I hate that every time I do it. <laughs> Alright, so. Now you're coming up off the top of that little climb and this little cross section just go straight and you're going to head down this street which is Valley View Drive uh, until you hit the end of it. Nice little spot to relax after you made that little climb. Kind of kicks your butt. Alright so there's those two little streets that forked. It doesn't really matter which one you should go on because they lead you to the same spot. But take this come down this hill a couple manual if you want <laughs> um, and then you're gonna go right here and then this is called Adlina I don't know how to say it, but you're going to make that right. And you're going to come up here and you're going to go left at this light. All right, so here's me going across and then you're going to shoot across to the right side. And there's some train tracks right here. So you turn right down and you follow the trail tra uh, trail trail tracks. What am I saying? The train tracks down for a while. Right here. Yeah, so these are the train tracks. Go all the way along until you get to the next street. And then the trail is actually gonna start on the left after you cross the street. But you guys will see. So uh, I'm gonna cut there right now. All right, so just like I said, you get here and you're gonna cross the street. Basically, you're just gonna do exactly what this guy did. <laughs> but cross the street, get right over here, and then you're back on the trail. And then it funnels into that fence and then you just keep going up. All right, still on that same trail. You know what, I'm also gonna find the name of this trail too and I'll put it right here. And then just make sure to go right up this way because this is what the actual trail is instead of going left by the fence. All right, and make sure to just stay right when you're on this trail because that's the way that it'll take you the right way. And you'll get up to where this chain link fence is. So if you see the chain link fence and the opening on the right side, you made it to the right spot. So climb this little hill and then stay on the trail. So this trail will lead us all the way up to the street. And once we hit the street, we're gonna go straight across. And it's gonna turn into a little park. So that was the little street crossing. This will take you into Virgil Gus Grissom Park. I think that's what it's called. And this little trail right here is called Bridal Trail. So, um, yeah, you kind of just chill on this. You go up for a little bit and then eventually we're gonna make a left, I'm pretty sure. Also, I think uh, why not? It's a pretty good time to 
just mention it. I learned this loop um, from the the Outsider MTB, his channel. Um, he has a really good trail guide for the Fullerton loop because trust me, I know it can be pretty confusing. Um, and my video will probably do his no justice. So I'll leave a link to his video in the description too. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for like a super good trail guide of the Fullerton loop, I'd check out his too, cause his is really good. So just had to throw that in there. Um, but yeah. All right, so I'm almost done going up Bridal Trail. And basically if you just stay on this little asphalt part, it'll take you right where you need to go. And then you'll get up here to this left turn and you go up it and just stay on the asphalt. You're good. All right, well, this sucks. Um, normally you just hop on this trail right here and it would take you out down that way onto like the main street. Um, so I think I can probably do it with just skipping that trail. Um, but yeah, even more of a reason to go check out uh, the Outsiders Fullerton Loop video because he has that part in his video. So that'd be good for you guys to watch. So I'm just gonna head down through this neighborhood over here. Um, if it works out, then awesome. If it doesn't, then I'll try to like draw a little diagram or something um, about where you should go when you're normally doing it with that trail. But we'll, we'll see. All right, so basically where this trail close sign is, is where you guys would come out if you had taken the other way that was closed too because that all connects. Um, so I'm probably just gonna like put a couple arrows on like a Google like maps image or something. But you'll come through this way and all you have to do from here is just follow this trail out this way. And there'll be a street crossing right here and go across. And then I like to go up to the left because they have a couple little one little single track type things up there. So you'll see that. All right, so I just crossed and now I'm up here. And there's a pretty good chance this is gonna be really slippery today. So I gotta be careful. But this is where all the little single tracks start. There's a few different options. Um, so yeah, this part's fun to explore. Definitely a little slick today. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff to explore up here. There's a bunch of different ways you can go with all this stuff. I'm gonna hit this one. And you can get over here. And there's some sick stuff right here. There's a couple road gaps. So I'll give those a shot. So you can probably tell I absolutely suck at doing jumps and stuff, but either way, this stuff is fun. Um, and if you were to take any, most of the other little ways to come down the hill, they'd probably shoot you out down right over here. Um, and then you take this out over here. You're just gonna pop up here on the street and then there's a little way off to the left right here that you're gonna go to get out to the street called Rosecrans, which we're gonna take up for a while.
All right, so now I eat on that. You're out on the Rosecrans and you're just gonna follow the sidewalk up for a while and yeah, I'll pick up with you in a sec. All right, so at this point, you're basically at the top of Rosecrans and you're gonna get to this intersection of Gilbert and Rosecrans and you're gonna just wanna go straight across and then keep going. This is the intersection of Sunny Ridge and Rosecrans, which is just the next light up. So go straight through that, and then right off to the right up here is where the trail picks up. All right, so you're gonna just go right down here. This is called Rosecrans Trail. All right, and at this point, you're still on Rosecrans Trail. Um, just keep heading up here. And then there's a little offshoot right here to the left that I think is really fun because it's got some more little little trails instead of just climbing like a big double track. So I like to go this way. If you go right, it takes you to the same place. So just do whatever you want. All right, still pedaling up. Um, a couple of sections where it flattens out you get a break from climbing um, but yeah it's pretty fun it's a pretty relaxing climb too it's nothing too tough but I enjoy it I'm gonna go up this way just for fun Now it's flat again. <laughs> All right, it's still pretty flat, but we're coming up to a fun little like descent type thing. Here it is. Let's see. I'm gonna go down this way. Kind of fun. And then you can stay in this little wash for a second. I'll switch you back out here again. And then you're back on like the normal climb that you could have gone right on earlier, but this way was more fun. <laughs> All right, so just keep climbing here. There's a bunch of roots. They'll pop out and try to, try to get you, but make sure you go left up here and you'll go up to the top. All right, so we're coming up to the top of the hill here and then it's pretty quick into another just little fun downhill section. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> the sign says it. Just be careful when you're going down that you're watching for hikers and stuff, but um, pretty fun little section coming up. All right, it flattens out for a little bit and then it'll go up a tiny bit again. Now you make it to the light on Castlewood and Gilbert and you just go straight across. All right, so cross the street and then you just get on this little side trail. You just take it all the way down 
and then at the end you're gonna go left up a trail called Nora Kuttner Trail which is just right up here all right made it now this climb kind of sucks too but it's honestly it's like the last real climb of the of the trail so it's not bad if you just keep that in mind it's a little steep right here today it's a little slippery but not too bad all right oh i'll see you at the top <laughs> all right just kind of like crested the top of the hill and this way is kind of fun so i'd suggest going left here you can check out some cool like little fun lines to get yourself into the next section That's one. There's some more fun ones. I'll go hit a couple more. Ooh. All right, so you can probably tell there's like a million different lines to choose from right there. But all those little drop-ins are pretty fun. Um, they're a nice little spot to take a break especially after riding uh, up that hill, which can be a pain in the butt. But obviously at this point, you're gonna go down and then you're gonna come right over here. And this little area is pretty much designated for bikers only. So pretty much just death grip it and fly down it. left and then you get onto the street right here pretty much you're just gonna cross whenever you can all right kind of fun story <laughs> um, so I run cross country with my college and we run these trails all the time um, and we have named that hill that I just came down Bertha because at the end of all of our runs, you gotta come back up the other, like the, the side off to the left that isn't the bike side. Um, sorry, as you guys probably saw too, just make a right uh, down, it's called Laguna Road, and then make a left at the gate and you're just gonna come up here on this little trail. But anyways, we call that hill Bertha, so I'm used to running up it instead of riding down it, so that's a nice change. Alright, so that was the little trail right there, and then this will bring you up to Laguna Lake, which is right there. So yeah, just go across here and you're gonna go into the lake area and then go to the right, right over here. So you made it around the lake and now you're gonna come out this gate right here, cross, a, uh, cross the street, and then you're gonna go right down the trail. Damn, dude, I'm tired. Whew. All right, yeah, so basically, just keep going down the trail right this way, 
Um, it's kind of just like the rest of the trail too. There's some fun little features on the side. Just keep your eyes peeled and you'll probably see some of them. Um, but yeah. And up here in a minute, we're gonna hit a left and we're gonna go past some more train tracks. Oh, okay. Also, I like going up this way. It's pretty fun. Um, this is just another one of these little random lines you can find everywhere. They're all short, but they're really fun. Kind of fun little random way to go, but um, yeah, it's obviously, it's nothing too bad. Um, and coming up right here, this bridge, right as soon as we pass it, we're gonna go left. There's a little drop in, and then we're gonna go along the train tracks. So left right here, there's the drop. Oh. <laughs> Um, oh, it's muddy today. Not surprised, obviously. So yeah, just keep going down along the tracks for right now. And then eventually we're gonna make a right. All right, so when you get right here, you're gonna take this little turn up here and you're gonna end up getting to the start of this trail coming up right here across the street and then you're there all right so this is pretty sick over here um, the jumps are super sloppy today because it's so muddy and rainy like my my tire just like completely sunk into that one. But when it's dry, that section is super fun. Like they've done such a good job rebuilding all that stuff. So definitely worth checking it out when it's dry. Um, but yeah, just keep along the side of the golf course for now. Right, yeah, so just keep going along. Careful golf carts. And then you're gonna to wanna to go through the left tunnel. And then make this left once you get out of the tunnel and keep pedaling up this way. All right, so still the same trail, but here hit a fat left and you can climb up to get to a pretty cool little spot. Um, if you want to, you can still go straight there. And again, it'll all end up at the same spot, but this way is fun to me. So I'm gonna take it. All right, so now that you're at top, just follow this little trail this way. Nice and easy. All right, so at the end of that little trail, you're gonna come to this little intersection up here and turn right down that trail that I went down and it'll take you to this fun stuff over here like here's a little drop and then take a second up here make sure nobody's coming and you can go ahead and drop in hit the little jump and then keep going down this way And then just keep on straight down this little path over here. Um, and it should pop you out right up here. 
and then just make the right out of those little little wooded area and then come up here at this point if you see the dam you're going the right way still going up that same little hill um, there's a couple little features off to the left side over here I'm gonna go hit them and then you go up across the top of the dam and you're done just like that yeah that was fun I suppose it's kind of weird riding in the mud or with the trails even being a little bit muddy so obviously I'm really not used to it <laughs> those SoCal people are so lame when it comes to mud all right, so I got to the top of the, the dam. Instead of going across it, I'm going to go down this way. And it should connect right up to the trail, which I think is right here. Yes, I'm almost positive this is it. So, it should come down this way. We got some cool features over here too. I'm not feeling very confident about hitting all this stuff right now with all the mud and everything, but they get down to this hill. You get down right here. And I'm gonna go left here, I'm pretty sure, at this street. Yes, I am gonna go left here. All right, so you're actually gonna wanna cross here. You gotta be careful, because it's a pretty big street, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. And then you're just gonna ride all the way down until I think it's we get to the light. All right, so here, just turn right, down Valley View. And then, should be right up here, and then you're just gonna go across the street to the left to get back to the parking lot in just a sec. All right, so I'm basically at the top of the little hill now. And then, just like I said, Parking lot is across the street to the left side. And you can probably just get into the lot right over here just like this. All right, nice. Now you're back at the lot and that's the loop. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. It's definitely like a nice, long, pedally ride. And like I was saying, um, it's pretty fun, but it's also pretty tiring. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, nice. Now you're back at the lot and that's the loop. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. It's definitely like a nice long pedally ride. And like I was saying, um, pretty fun but it's also pretty tiring so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that what's up guys welcome back um, hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Fullerton loop and kind of got to learn a little bit more about it and got to see how you might want to ride it in the future if you guys ever wanted to get out there um, it's a fun little loop kind of not what you'd expect and it's kind of cool because you can kind of make it as fun and as hard as you want it to be. Um, while you can definitely gear it towards more like a beginner rider, you can also hit, uh, hit some of those more like advanced features that make it feel like not as much of like a beginner loop. Um, so either way, it's pretty cool, versatile little loop. I really enjoy riding it when I get the chance. Um, and yeah, so I hope I was able to help lead you guys through it pretty well. Um, but like I said in the video, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to 
the Outsider MTB's video on the Fullerton Trail Loop because he did a great job on his and that's how I learned how to ride the loop. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today and if you did, make sure to like, leave a comment, subscribe, go to my Instagram, do all those fun things and make sure to tune in next week for the next video. Stoked for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Yeah.